Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Ridwanullah family. Um, Jazakumullah khair for tuning in to another episode of Ridwanullah TV Insights. Um, I'm your host, Just one second, inshallah. Trying to get out of the masjid parking lot. I'm just trying to utilize my net time, which is no extra time, be the ta'ala, as I get back to work, inshallah. Um, so, inshallah, just starting off again, uh, or take two. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Ridwanullah family. Um, Jazakumullah khair for tuning in to another episode of. Um, Ridwanullah TV Insights, um, your source to completely maximize your closeness to and the pleasure and bliss of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through every single area of your life and online business in this dunya and in the akhirah by the grace will and for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And inshallah, uh, in today's insights, I want to share with you two very, very important insights that Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen that I've picked up. Um, you know, I'm someone who is slowly but surely working on completely maximizing, gaining closeness to and the pleasure and bliss of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through every single area of my life as well as online business in this dunya and in the akhirah by the grace will and for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I mean, in that journey, you know what I mean? Obviously, there's so much to learn and so much to develop and grow. Um, it's basically kind of like being an architect of your life. And in the beginning, you see a prime location that other people don't. You see the foundation and framework and pillars that other people don't. Um, and you're slowly but surely working on um, architecting and building that prime real estate to get it to that next level, bithanillahi ta'ala. I mean, in that journey, there's a lot of things that I've been learning and growing through, bithanillahi ta'ala. And I wanted to share that with you um, on your journey as well to completely maximizing, gaining closeness to and achieving the pleasure and bliss of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in every single area of your life in this dunya, as well as your online business in this dunya and in the akhirah by the grace, will and for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, and the first one is uh, the key, the seven key ingredients of um, producing your desired outcome and or results so you could achieve your goals, projects and dreams. And the second one is the four elements that you should check to see the, the quality and quantity and the condition of your relationship. So that's what I wanted to share with you. Um, and it's critical for us to understand this because I was pondering this um, as I'm continuously working on producing uh, my desired outcomes and results uh, so I can achieve my goals, projects, and dreams. ta'ala. And just to kind of go through the seven ingredients, um, and I don't have it in, in any particular order, uh, but I have these particular items um, points and ingredients that we should all consider when we're thinking about producing results. The first one is focus. Uh, we really have to be able to be focused, bithanillahi ta'ala. And for me, um, I lack a lot of focus in a lot of areas of my life and I'm doing so much. But at the same time, there's a method behind the madness, um, especially in the beginning stages. So, you know, I'm, tr I'm really trying to improve on my focus. So you really have to have focus. Um, obviously, there's a lot more to be said than there is time. Uh, but the second one is fuel, right? That's your purpose, your reason why you're doing something. And that's something that you should always consider and figure out which one is driving you the most at this particular time in your life, as well as your online business, bithanillahi ta'ala, on your journey to gaining closeness to the ple and, and the pleasure and bliss of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you have to have fuel, bithanillah. And then the third one is you have to have money and time, right? And if you don't have enough money and time, you could have all the other elements in the world and you wouldn't be able to achieve it. So you really have to know how much money and time it'll take for you to achieve your goals and dreams, or at least have some sort of an idea. 
Um, you know, everything takes money and time, or at the very least time. So you have to really put that in perspective, bidin illahi ta'ala. So I believe that's number three. Number four is the energy and effort that you need to be able to exert through hustle, smart, and hard work, basically. So you have to have energy and effort, is number four, bidin illahi ta'ala. Without energy and effort, nothing will work out. Um, and if you don't have energy and effort, you're not working out. So it's something to keep in mind, bidin illahi ta'ala. Um, I hope somebody caught the, the nuanced details of that, bidin illah. So that's number four. Uh, number five is making sure you adjust and adapt, right? Adjusting and adapting is key to anything in life and for you to achieve your desired outcomes and results. You really have to consistently and continuously adjust and adapt, bidin illahi ta'ala. And then number six is you have to get some help and teamwork, right? Um, I always talk to my daughter about this and we always say teamwork makes the dream work. So you really have to find some help, get, ask for help, look for help and find a team to be able to build something with. Um, you know, obviously that's for me, I lack in that area a lot too, even though I consistently, continuously and persistently um, look for help one way or the other. That's why I'm always searching and developing and learning and growing. Um, so you really have to have that bidinillahi ta'ala is help and the teamwork to be able to make the dream work and uh, you know it's just a continuous ongoing battle in that development in that area the other one is making sure number I think we're at five uh, no six five or six let me see yeah so that was six and then number seven uh, if, if my number's off, please forgive me. Um, number seven is to be able to uh, celebrate and reward yourself. You really have to celebrate your successes on the mac micro scale as well as on the macro scale. If you don't take time to celebrate and reward yourself um, and then, you know what I mean, learn uh, lessons uh, and, 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 and go through that journey, it won't be as sweet, it won't be as valuable to you. So you won't value it as much, you won't be as appreciative, you won't be as grateful and as hungry to go for more. So that's what I'm trying to advise myself and you to do, bi'idhanillahi ta'ala, is to take some time to celebrate and reward your successes and learn from your failures, bi'idhanillahi ta'ala. So that's what I would say in terms of the ingredients that you need to be able to produce any desired uh, outcomes and or results ta'ala to be able to you know achieve your goals and projects and dreams ta'ala so just to kind of summarize the first one is focus the second one is uh, fuel the third one is uh, money and time the fourth one is energy and effort the fifth one is adjusting and adapting the sixth one is getting some help and teamwork. And the seventh one is uh, celebrating and re rewarding yourself um, as well as learning lessons. I hope that makes sense to you as it does for me. It's very, very powerful. Um, I wanted to share with you guys uh, so you could see which area of that you're lacking in. Ta'ala. Um, and the other one is in terms of your relationships, this is something that I was thinking about in terms of improving my relationship with certain individuals within my family and friends um, and everybody else, bi'idhanillahi ta'ala. And I thought about it, I'm like, there's only four things that you have to assess in terms of relationship to understand where the relationship is. The first one is, did, is there something that you said that they didn't like or that hurt them? And number two is, is there something that you didn't say that they didn't like and that hurt them? And then number three is, is there something that you did that they didn't like and or that hurt them? And number four is, is there something that you didn't do that they didn't like and or hurt them? So whenever you're looking at your relationship, and, and that's all the, the, the elements of a relationship that you need to be able to analyze and assess to see where the where the quality and quantity of any of your relationships really is. So that's what I wanted to share with you, Bidhanillahi Ta'ala, just to kind of summarize and conclude that as well. 
is is there something that you said that they didn't like and or that hurt them is there something that you didn't say that they didn't like and or that hurt them and is there something that you did that they didn't like and or hurt them and is there something that you didn't do that they didn't like and or hurt them um, and I was reflecting on some of my relationship relationships and I was kind of assessing that for myself being in Allah Ta'ala um, you know, just continuously, positively, and prog progressively moving forward uh, with every single area of pleasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through my life as well as online business. Um, and it's important to understand the value of relationship, bidhanillahi ta'ala, and continue uh, to work towards that, bidhanillahi ta'ala. So I hope um, these amazing insights uh, ha are as helpful to you as they are for me um, in helping you gain uh, you know, completely maximize your closeness to and or the pleasure and bliss of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in every single area of your life and online business in this dunya and in the akhirah by the grace, will, and for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, let me just make sure I'm parking all right. Seems like there's much better lighting this way. <laughs> um, so that's pretty much it. I hope it's been as helpful for you, bidhanillahi ta'ala, and you can continue to work towards that, bidhanillahi ta'ala. Um, Jazakumullah uh, khair. If, if you're new to this channel, uh, please make sure that you subscribe and press the notification bell uh, to join the Radwanullah family. Um, and don't, if you've liked this video, please press the like button um, and share it with your... Uh, family and friends and don't forget to leave your comment below on which of the ingredients that you might be missing uh, which of the areas of your life that you need to improve on as well as your relationships um, my challenge to you is uh, check that check which area you need most help in and work towards that ta'ala and check which re which relationship needs most help and which area of the four areas of the relationship that needs more help bidhanillahi ta'ala and slowly but surely work on that bidhanillahi ta'ala jazakumullah khair ridwanullah family for tuning in to another episode of ridwanullah tv your source to gain completely maximize your closeness to and the pleasure and bliss of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um and through completely maximizing every single area of your life um, as well as your online business in this dunya and in the akhirah by the grace will and for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'm your host and maximizer Hussein Mahmoud checking out by saying never ever give up on completely maximizing your closeness to and the pleasure and bliss of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through every single area of your life and online business in this dunya and in the akhirah by the grace, will, and for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.